So on a recent unboxing video, I uh, revealed this right here, which is a first copy of Sports Illustrated, August 16th, 1954. We all know it. We all love it. Very popular, very collectible. Um, however, that says reprint. And so I did the unboxing video, and when I sent this one in, I wasn't sure if it was authentic or not. It might have been a reprint. Came back, it turned out it was a reprint. I got so many comments and DMs and texts from people saying, Jim, we'd love it if you would maybe walk us through how to spot a reprint. So that's what we're going to do on this video today. Also, in addition to that, I'm going to show you how I crack, uh, do a small mini tutorial of how to crack slabs um, from CGC. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack this one open and then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison against this reprint versus one that I know 100% is authentic. So let's go ahead and do that. Couple of supplies. Keep in mind, if you're cracking slabs, this is how I do it. I use an old towel, dish towel or bath towel or something like that. And what you want to do is you want to wrap the slab in the towel because that's going to keep the pieces of plastic from flying all over the place. And then you need a good hammer. Now you can use a regular hammer. I really like this mini sledgehammer here because uh, it's got a ton of weight to it. And especially the newer slabs, older CGC slabs, pretty easy to crack because those things were so flimsy. Newer ones, much more difficult uh, to get into uh, without making a mess and without damaging your magazine. So let's go check a look, uh, go uh, check and take a look at how I crack slabs. Okay, I'm out here in my garage. I got my magazine, I got it on the towel. And then what I'm gonna do, one-handed here, is you just kind of want to lay the towel over the top portion because that's really all you need to do is crack the top half of that. Now I really went to town on this one uh, but you can see here this one is cracked and I may even have to I may even have to hit it again. Got this top part open but there's really kind of there's really kind of four corners on these new slabs that you've got to You've got to split those and then this connector piece across the top. I'm going to need to hit it a couple more times. All right, that one was extra tough, but it took a few times, but I got it done. And what you're left with here is the soft inner pouch. So let's go take a look at how to, uh, how to remove the magazine from that soft inner pouch. Okay, back inside, and we've got our magazine here in our soft inner pouch. But now we've got to get it out of this. So the way I do that is need a very sharp exacto knife one with like a new blade on it and what you want to do is you want to cut down here and then you want to cut across the bottom and then you want to cut up here and kind of peel back that soft plastic so that you can pull the magazine out okay got the magazine out of the soft plastic slab again what you want to do is is you want to kind of create a flap in that by cutting it with an X-Acto knife. This is actually the most dangerous and risky part of removing and cracking slabs. It is very, very easy, especially if you do not know what you're doing, um, when you're using that X-Acto knife to cut out this soft pouch here to actually slice right into your magazine. So uh, not for the faint of heart, uh, but this is how we do it. So there are really three big ways that I can tell the difference between an original and a reprint. For starters, this is the reprint on the top. Most reprints down here at the bottom will have this gold embossing that says reprint. So that's obviously easy and that's not even one of the three ways, but start there. But the first way to tell the difference is in the color. You can actually see the difference between the colors where it says Sports Illustrated there in orange. So that's number one. The Original is down below, right here. The reprint is on top. You can see that original has a deeper, darker orange color. This one is much lighter. Number two is the gloss. So let this is the reprint again on top. Very high gloss, kind of like a modern issue. The 50 Sports Illustrated are not like that. You can see the gloss is totally different. Much more muted, it's a matte finish as opposed to this high gloss finish. So gloss level, high gloss means reprint. The third way is on the very first page, you've got this advertisement for ethyl gasoline. So again, the reprint is on top, just like before. Let's zoom in here. And we can see that the contrast and definition right there where it says ethyl is fairly pixelated. So let's go down to the original. And we've got our original and it's much easier to read that ethyl, and it, the words come through much cleaner. 
as opposed to that one, which is a lot fuzzier and a lot more difficult to read. So I'm really fortunate in the fact that I press so many magazines for customers and fellow collectors. And one of the benefits of that is I get to get my hands on a ton of different copies of these. And so it makes it much easier for me to be able to spot a reprint versus the original because I've just seen so many of them. I mean, I've probably gotten 20 or 30 copies of that original graded myself personally. I've probably pressed another hundred of them. Um, so I've had a lot of experience with it and know how to spot the difference between a reprint and an original. I hope this was helpful. I always try and use mistakes that I've made. Like, you know, I like I said, I thought that this might have been a replica, but I wasn't sure um, and sent it in anyway. But now I'm 100% sure. And now I know exactly how to spot these, uh, these reprints. And hopefully my mistake can keep you from doing the same thing. Hope this video was helpful. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and eBay and Facebook and, and everywhere else. Uh, same username is here. It's CGC Sports Illustrated. If you're interested in my comic and magazine cleaning and pressing service, just drop a comment here, shoot me a DM on social media, and we can talk all about it. And really appreciate you watching. Thanks.